Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, as it's been uh, said a number of times, um, I've asked the High Court to declare these new Senate voting laws uh, invalid. Uh, the matter will be heard um, by the full bench of the High Court uh, in Canberra tomorrow. And like you, uh, I'm sure um, uh, many will be very, very interested to hear what the High Court uh, has to say about the growing influence of the major parties on how senators are elected. Now, for those who don't fully understand, under these new uh, voting laws uh, introduced by the Liberals, Liberal government, it will be possible for the major parties to poll 70 or even down to 60% of the vote and yet still get 100% of the seats. I'll say that again, it will be possible. At the moment, the major parties are getting about 75% of the vote. It could drop to 70% or even 60% and for them to still get 100% of the seats. Now this deal uh, with the Greens and Nick Xenophon to try to wipe out the minor parties and independents, I predict will not end well for the Liberals. They've just got offside, as we know, 79 minor parties and independents who stood at the last election and over 3 million people who voted for them. And, as we know, 3 million voters can't be wrong. Now, I noticed in the media recently, it was reported that these new laws will, and I quote, make it easy to get rid of pesky independent senators. That was the quote. These new laws will make it easy to get rid of pesky independent senators. But what they're really saying is that these new laws will make it easy to get rid of pesky voters who put those independent senators there. Which begs the question, how many pesky voters do they really want to get rid of? At the moment it's three million. The, that's how many voted for minor parties and independents. What if this goes to four million? What about five million? Why not just get rid of all the voters altogether and simply just run the show themselves? Now the option of voting for a minor party and getting one elected was really all that was standing in the way and keeping these major parties in check. Once they've removed the threat to their cartel, voters who are fed up with the major parties will have nowhere to go. Now I, for one, still don't understand why the Liberals want to do this. It was the minor parties and independents which enabled the Abbott government to get rid of all their key uh, the policies and to uphold the key election policies that they went to the last election on. Abolishing the mining tax, abolishing the carbon tax, border protection laws and so on. The Greens opposed every one of their policies. And having got those policies through, thanks to the independents and minor parties, for the Liberal Party to then team up with the Greens, who oppose them, um, is just deplorable. Now, we talked earlier about the Greens. Well, for them, this is not going to uh, end well either. It's a bit like the proverbial doing a deal with a crocodile. All that happens is the crocodile agrees to eat you last. So what's to stop, now that they've got rid of the minor parties and independents, what's to stop the major parties, the Liberal, Liberal and Labour, getting together to change the voting laws again to get rid of the Greens? So there you have it. The Americanisation of Australian politics, a two-party system. Now, uh, look, I, I could go on, for, but you get, you get the message. You understand why we're here. We're here to support two key principles and that's freedom and democracy. Thank you very, very much for your support and we look forward to a very successful case in the High Court. Thanks a lot, thank you. thank you. I just say to this courageous senator, can I say, give three cheers. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Are you gonna sing for us? <laughs> he would have to hear Bob Day sing a Bob Dylan oh! song. Oh, where have you been, my blue-eyed son? 
we popped up. Oh, where have you been, my darling young one? I've stumbled on the side of twelve misty mountains. And I've walked and I've crawled on six crooked highways. And I've been out in front of a dozen dead oceans. Having ten thousand miles in the mouth of the graveyard, it's hard. And it's hard. It's a hard. It's a hard. It's a hard rain gonna fall. Now this is a hard rain's gonna fall for some for the Liberal Party of the government. Thank you. Well, that